Oh man, Jen. Oh man. <laughs> we finally did it, huh? I love you so much. Today I choose you. I'll choose you over and over every day without pause. <laughs> Sorry. I'll keep choosing you all the days of my life. I love you. In the five and a half years Jen and Brennan have been together, their love and understanding of each other hasn't stopped growing. From Murphy's Pub in Salem, Massachusetts, to Murphy the Golden Doodle here celebrating with us today, the two of them have been through so much together. Clearly didn't take long after Brendan saying yes to getting apps or drinks or something with Jen for the two of them to realize they're a perfect match for each other. I still cannot wrap my head around how Brendan managed to get Jen's number after a full night out with the guys. Like, especially knowing Jen now, and I mean, that's partially, you know, I'm a little ignorant to that because she only has eyes for him, of course. But I am so glad that you did. In all seriousness, though, all you ever want for your friends is for them to find someone who sees how wonderful they are, someone to keep their hearts safe who truly deserves them. And Brendan, you could not have found someone more deserving of the kind hearted human that you are. Our relationship is my utmost important consideration. It gives me strength and I vow to put it every effort into strengthening it in turn through honesty, faithfulness, and patience. Unbelievable. And then there's Jen, the lovely, beautiful, amazing Jen. You held a wonderful presence in our family. We're always delighted when you came around. You're so wonderful, in fact, you donated your kidney. You saved a man's life. You said, I don't need it. If someone else does, you can have it. That's the kind of passion and thoughtfulness that makes you the lovely Jen that we all know. By the way, you're really rocking the whole missing an organ look. I'm so lucky to be your wife. I vow to travel through life with you and to travel the world with you. Our adventures are my favorite, whether they are near or they are three layover flights to get to Dublin. I knew from the second you got out of your car to meet me for apps or drinks or something, that I met somebody extremely special. I just didn't know how special yet. Almost two years and a global pandemic later after saying yes, it's finally their day to commit to living the rest of their lives together and to officially love one another as husband and wife. As you are the moon of his life, he shall be your sun and stars. Your love shall be as ever present as those as two celestial bodies even though they are sometimes hidden from one another's sight. Your love will be the guiding force that charts the course of your tomorrows, hold your world together in difficult times, and will make life itself shine bolder and brighter than we human beings have a right to dream. Marriage is a maze into which we wander, a maze that is best worked through with trust, with certainty, and with a great companion. Now, 
we both shall say a few words that take you guys across a major threshold in life. A threshold where things will never quite be the same between the two of you. After these vows, Jen, you shall say to the world, Brendan is my husband. And Brendan, you shall say to the world, Jen is my wife. Brendan, today in front of the people that we love the most, I take you as my husband. Last year, when I told you I was thinking of donating my kidney, you were only supportive and open to learning about the process. You saw me through the entire thing, sat by my side in the hospital, fed me Mexican food the night we got discharged. Thank you. Thank you, really. I love you, Jen. You changed my life for the better. I'm so excited that I'll get to call you my wife. Thank you for being you. I love you so much. I've been on the road out here with the squad. Everybody trying to go. And then we're getting ready for the wedding. We got about 150 people coming. And then all of a sudden, this uh, national pandemic. First, the wedding started 150 invites. Then it went down to near zero because we're not having a wedding. Then it went to 30. Then it went to 80. Then it went to 50. Literally, two weeks ago, you were still wondering, looking at the main COVID website. But through all of this, Jen Den stayed totally consistent. They were positive. They were like, listen. We're going to get through this. We're going to have this way and we're going to do it. And that's what this is all about. I've been on the wave. It's a party. Make the toast. It's a party every day. So anywhere you go, all across the coast, we do it every time. Like, no, 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 no. I got nothing but the highlights Can't believe that this is my life uh, I'm only living on the bright side I'm like, nah, 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 nah. This is where I wanna be nah, nah, nah. Never ever gonna leave nah, nah, nah. You ain't gonna get it from me I'm like, nah, 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 nah. This is where I wanna stay nah, nah, nah. I could do this When the reality of life settles in, never forget this moment and never forget why the two of you are here. Always remember why you love one another and always remember to tell them so. So, without further ado, and by the power vested in me in the state of Maine, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brendan, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brendan and Jennifer Quinn. Yeah.